Hi there. Right, I'm starting another page. And I started um, ripping up this and I thought, I'm not showing you. So um, this was a gel print that I just used as a brayer runoff. Let me just put it back together. So it's literally the brayer, cleaning the brayer off. Um, because my next images that I've chosen, these are the last two I've got. So until the other lot come, we're not going to have many more pages. But uh, I didn't use this flower in the last one or the bee. I got the bird and I've had this idea that I want to do oh, let me just move it up a bit sorry I want to do a cup of tea sitting in the garden and I thought I had a stamp with a table but I don't so I'm just racking my brains I'm thinking if I stamp that which is like a well it's a banner isn't it but I thought you know that might I might get away with that and just draw a table leg or something I don't know. Anyway, um, I've chosen this piece for the background. I was just ripping it and I thought, no, I need to, because I know a lot of you are really sort of um, into watching everything. So <laughs> stop waffling, Susan. So I'm just literally tearing this to size. I'm using a bit of watercolour paper because, you know, I've cut it to size. I'm going to use it and... All I'm going to do with this is stick it on, basically. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just bring you for the whole lot. Ugh, won't tear. That'll do. Close enough. I don't know if this is the right bit, actually. I'm just experimenting here. So I was thinking I could always draw in a... A tree for Mr. Bird and then that there can add some more color down here not a problem and I'm going to stamp on a different piece of paper reason being I was thinking again I'm just sticking to really simple stuff and I'm not mixing it up enough not for my liking anyway so I thought maybe use a gel print as a background it's completely random might look all right eh, we'll keep going let's see what it looks like so whilst we are doing other things let me get that stuck down and then uh, right. hoping it's, it's probably going to wrinkle it but that's okay texture we'll call it texture I do want the edges really well stuck so I'm going to overlap them slightly come down here bit of paper here somewhere hold on sorry that'll do it's a failed laminated piece of card and it's plastic on this side so that'll do fine book cover's almost dry so I should be finishing that off this afternoon so just want to get it done I say I'm on to my last after these ones I'm down to my last two images until the next lot arrive so uh, that'll be that one for a little while but I've got some other projects I need I want to well I want to do I don't need to do them but I want to do them so right let's just put that over there to dry I'll trim it up in a bit. Now, this table, I don't... I was thinking of stamping it on this. This is just a piece of... Uh, well, I think it's grease-proof grease paper um, that I've gel printed. Sorry, half sentences again. Thinking. So... I do that there and that there. So I'm just sort of thinking 
drawing some table legs down. It's a bit out of proportion, the cup, but um, yeah, I'm getting towards the end of the images, like I said. I'm just going to trim this bird up a bit. Don't quite want all of that in there. And scissors work. Should have got my knife out really, could have got in closer. But I didn't, so. Right, he's trimmed. I might go in and trim that flower a bit actually. We've got quite a big. I painted that up at the background for the other one, but I decided not to use it, didn't I? Right. Okay, right, let's think about this. Let's give it a go, shall we, instead of procrastinating. Wondering if I need it taller actually. Oh, I think it'll be fine. Sorry, I'm really faffing, aren't I? Right, okay, so if I do it about that tall. Here goes nothing. Right. Where's me ink? There it is. Right. Right, right, right. I'll not use this one, so it's going to be uber sticky. Come off. Yeah, I was a bit, a bit miffed, actually. As I say, I could have sworn I had... Um, a table stamp, but I've gone through all of my stamps and I can't find it, so right, okie dokie. Let's just make sure that the stamp's okay. Stamp it on the table, yep, that's cool. So, um, just thinking of colours, but for the flags. Oh, ink's going to dry. Come on, make your mind up. Um, that might be quite a good spot, actually, there. Oops, sorry. <sighs> sorry, that's probably really loud. Right, so... Uh, yeah, this is a yeah waterproof one, so it's the um, uni pin pen. It's going to draw. Are you going to draw or not? Yeah. You get what I mean? I was thinking a raw iron one. <laughs> Badly drawn. Never mind, it's fine. Yeah. 
There you are. Yeah, I'm just checking that you're seeing it. I've got a thicker one. I'm going with a thicker pen. I think I'll just get the fine lines down and then. Uh... Oh, this is really stretching me. This is filming me drawing. Ooh, scary. Okay. Now then, are you waterproof? Yes, you're a pit pen, so this is slightly. Oh, this is very wonky, isn't it? Right, so this is not a good demonstration of. Never mind. I'm trying. Some would say very. very wonky isn't it oh we'll pretend the tablecloth's wonky shall we <laughs> oh tomorrow if you're watching this don't you know disclaimer i am not an artist oh. let's just make these a little bit a little bit builder Could do a fake one coming off here actually couldn't I? Oh dear. <laughs> God. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do that again because that's shocking. Oh crikey, I can't stick that on there can I? No, you can't, Susan. You can do better. Come on. <sighs> oh, right. I'm going to sit down and be comfortable. That's probably where it's all going wrong. I'm trying to stand up and do this. Right, let's just go straight in. Oh, let's get a pencil. Oh. Right, so let me think. I need to come here and here if i come off the ends of the bows we should have something symmetrical ish it's a bit better isn't it is it gosh i can't see now all right okay yeah that'll do Right, let's not uh, let's not make a big deal out of this. Oops! Oh dear, we now got oh, got too much stuff around me. Right, everybody shift. Okay. I was watching. Oh crikey, what was her name? Anyway, she said to get a nice straight line, you move your arm, your whole arm, and that is actually quite a good hint because. Um, I go a bit wobbly sometimes, as we all do. Okay, that'll do. Um, I feel that's a little bit better. It's not as delicate looking as that one, but It'll do. Shall I go fancy in there? Crisscross. Oh, just do it. You know you want to. It's okay. All right, let's give this table a bit of depth. Where's my cup gone? Ah. 
Yeah, it's well out of proportion. Do you know what? That's fine. Sip of tea. What I might do is colour those uh, those things. Uh, what are they called? Bunting. That's the word. Okay. Right. Brush. There you are. Okay. Um, I'm going to go classic. Let's go red. And a little bit of blue. And yellow won't well, let's go mustard and it won't show up, but it'll be alright. Right. Oh dear. Oh, this is how not to do it, peeps. Oh, I'll leave that out, actually, because we want some colour on that background. Okay. I think what I'll do is just... Um, oh, I need to colour these as well. They're done. just need to do me bird. Um, should I just tear around this? I might, actually. And then... Um, If I tear it there, I'm going to have a bit of that in the background. Yep, that sounds like a plan. Let's get on it. Um, right, I'm just going to tear it by hand, I think. Don't go through the table. Should have waited for that to dry, really, but it's fine. And it's not one that you, it's not like tissue paper, you can't wet it because it is um, technically a greaseproof paper, so. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh, it's shocking. Let's have a quick look first, I might bin that. <laughs> You might never see this video, peeps. <laughs> if you don't, you will never know. <laughs> it's really, really bad drawing. But i got to keep practising. Otherwise, I'm never going to learn, am I? So, there it is. Let's just stick it down, shall we? I don't even think it would be better if I cut round it. It might disappear a bit. And if I come in here with some... Yes. Have faith, Susan. Have faith. I hope you're laughing. Oh, my word. This is just a watered-down PVA. It'll be fine. Um, right, let's just whack this on here. You go away, Mr. Bird, for a minute. I'll clean my mat off later. Please don't run pens. It shouldn't do. It says they're waterproof, but... Being careful around that uh, uh, watercolour paint. Oh, it's faded a bit, thank goodness. <laughs> right, okay. It's really tough stuff, this. You can be a bit, um, bit heavy-handed with the uh, greaseproof paper stuff, so... 
It's very similar to deli paper, I think. So it's the closest I can find whenever I look for it on Amazon. It's always blooming sold out. So um, I've given up trying to get the real stuff, if you like. And that, to me, that seems like quite a good alternative. So, And it's just um, undyed um, greaseproof paper, I think it was called. I don't know. I got it in macros, which is a... Um, wholesale place so right um, I'm going to go quite boring with the bird I think just sort of beiges and browns he's going to be a little sparrow he's, he doesn't look anything like a robin so I can't even fake him into a robin who has a little bit more colour so There we are, just a little brown bird and we will do a very boring brown tree. Because they are brown. Well, not all of them, but get a silver birch obviously uh, what am I looking for just need to clear that off a bit Ooh, no Going far too light Gonna try and get some variation in the old colour. That'll do. So after a scratchy bit of paper here. Um my friend here a nice yellow beak Ish. right that's fine all right teacup what color should we do our teacup it needs to stand out so let's do a red teacup I'm gonna sit down I don't want my inside. Let's go for it all red. Pretend it's a Starbucks mug. It's a bit boring, isn't it? Dark 
something off of it. Just to cut along the handle. And ba -ba 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 -ba. it up There we are, are they? Right, is that everything painted now? Now what do I do about that handle? Do I try and colour that in? Or should I try and cut it out? Let's try and cut it. Um, craft knife, there you are. tomorrow how thick was this card this is a brand new blade so I know I can f it's cutting but I just got it there we are yes that's better yeah, right, okie doke. I feel like I'm rushing, so I'm going to slow down because I think I'm going to end up messing this up well. <laughs> it can't get much worse. Right, let's put you guys all over there for a minute. Uh, let's put you there so I don't lose you, uh, Mr. Bird. Right, I just want to get this to mix a bit more than it actually currently is here Like to fade a little bit into the background. Now then, uh I don't think I've gone mad. Wait and see. <laughs> I just 
Just had a panic then, thinking, have I got right out of frame? I bet they're craning their necks if I have, but I didn't. Mr. Bird. Just wondering whether I need to put any more. I don't think I do. I'm just going to let him sit in there because that could be literally a branch off of next door's tree, couldn't it? Yes, it could, Susan. Right. Right. And again, I need to do something a little bit weird here. For those of us in the UK, we know what this is. The good old crazy paving. Thought we'd have a bit of that in there. That's okay. It looks like a fence, actually, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> well done, Susan. Right, let's try and... I'm just going to scribble it. I'm not going to do anything mad. Just give it a hint. Just a suggestion. Oops, not so heavy. Right, stop, that's fine, stop. Who remembers crazy paving? <laughs> it was all all the rage years ago, wasn't it? All right. Okay. It's all right. That is... Yeah. Okay. Right. So, we have our cup of tea there. And our flower here. I'll be there. What do you reckon? Or should I put him on the flower? I think on the flower. You're probably screaming at me. Chris, are you screaming at me right now? Don't put it on the flower! But I'm going to. Actually. I know. I know. Inking. What's that all about? But... Might make him, she, her, whatever sex it happens to be. 
I'm going to do the same to the flower, sorry. I just think it will um, help, basically. We've got quite a uh, quintessential English country patio going on here. It's not so stark white now. Might do the same to you, my friend. Sorry, but you're sticking out a bit like a sore thumb. It's not quite dry, actually. It's still quite wet. I need a new sponge. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Should I do the same with the cup? Yeah, just do it. Ta da! Right, um, I think this is all. Well, I think it's dry enough actually, so. Cup is so out of proportion, isn't it? Should have done a bigger table. Oh well, too late now. Quick slurp of the old tea. It's okay, it can be a little side table. Why am I sticking the bee? Oh, because he's going to go on the flower, isn't he? Oh dear, Susan, what are you doing? I don't want to overwork this because I don't want it activating the um, uh, watercolour. Paint, but I do want it to stick. Cute. Okay. I am getting well and truly sticky today. You there, my friend. I'll sit there and tweet away. Ugh. I'm quite happy with the gel print in the background. I think that's worked quite well. Just a little bit meh about that, but never mind. It is what it is. So it's well out of proportion, but working with what I've got. So there we are. I'm just going to do a quick bit of paper. So I'm getting glue everywhere. If I don't do the whole background, it's going to be shiny on the images, and I don't want that. I want the whole thing to be sealed, actually. See where I've gone now. Oh, there. Right, there we are. It's all right, it's okay. I'll tidy it up when it's all dry, cut the edges and trim it up. There we are. What do you reckon? <laughs> I know. All right. Yeah, I'm quite liking that. 
let's get you up a bit closer so you can see it's a bit shiny at the moment so I oh, know there we are yeah I quite like it actually I'm kind of warming up to it now so that's all right so that will get stuck in the old book um yeah I'll finish off the cover you'll see that don't worry and what else was I gonna say oh uh, yeah so I'm down to I'm down to the last two images because um some of Tamara's images are beautiful so I'm going to stick them on the front of my book basically but my last page is going to be those two I really like those well the last page of using Tamara's images anyway um and I'm I'm gonna go for it with these I think I'm gonna go I might use like I've, I've got a load of um what's it called 3d paste stuff so I might get the stencils out and give that a go but that'll be a two-parter because obviously you've got to wait for that stuff to dry properly so uh, well I hope you that enjoyed that I hope you didn't laugh too much at the table and I'll catch you on the next one Bye.